Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Crimson here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, what you guys are gonna be watching is a uh, hundred plus gameplay that I dropped on um, on Uplink when Double Crypto Keys was uh, was on. So uh, I actually wanted to grind it because I wanted to get the MSMC. Um, if you guys know what the MS or if you guys don't know what the MSMC is, it's basically an old weapon from Black Ops 2, and they remastered it and brought it back into this game. So I was grinding for the gun. And uh, I was also grinding for the, I, I forget what the name is called, but it was basically like the KN or AN9, I think it was called the AN94 um, and BO2. So they also brought it back on this game and I really wanted to grind for those weapons. So uh, this is what I was doing and I ended up actually, the, there's I had two previous games before this, which were um, uh, eight, a 74 and a 33. And uh, after this, I ended up getting a 100 bomb and I actually ended up leaving right after this. So I was lucky that I was able to get it. But uh, that was not what I'm here for today. Today I'm here to tell you guys one uh, a little thank you for my uh, how my videos have been doing, and I'm gonna be doing a little story time in this video. I know I haven't done one, so uh, let's go ahead and get first in with the thank you. So first of all, thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing me on my tutorial videos. Uh, there's a reason behind that why I did those. I might upload it in a, in another video that I have. It's sort of a tutorial as well, and I'm gonna talk a little about it in that video. But um, so thank you guys for all the support. Usually when I don't upload for even a week my video views my minutes watched my subscribers all of that just goes down but for some reason uh these past two weeks it's been like increasing increasing i would wake up look at my phone in it and there was a certain video that would just keep getting views and non-stop non-stop uh and it was actually really satisfying seeing that and um you know it, it it actually helps me because i actually started school two weeks ago so you know i wasn't able to upload and i had to get like all my classes uh sorted you know i had like figure my schedule out and stuff like that so uh it was kind of stressful for me but i'm kind of uh, i'm hanging in there now so like i know my schedule is i know you know everything um i know how the classes are so i, I can manage my time more better now but uh yeah that's basically one of what i wanted to say for the thank you um but i don't think i left anything out i think that's basically it uh other than uh, oh yeah and uh, i am trying to hit 200 subscribers guys right now guys right now we are at 129 i believe uh, I want to hit 200 by the end of uh, this year, so maybe by the by the end of December we hit 200 subs, and uh, my goal is to hit at least 500 by this time next year. So I don't know if we can do it. Uh, you know, it all has it all comes back to me how badly I want it, how much I'm gonna upload, and how entertaining my videos are. So uh, yeah, if you guys do find this video entertaining or anything like that, just uh, go ahead and drop that like, comment, and share this with your friends. But if you guys are here for the story time, uh, let's go ahead and get right into that now. So, for this story time, um, it takes place uh, back in elementary school. It was, uh, I, I think it was towards the last that the last days of, uh, of our school year. And we were going to the LA Museum, I believe, because I, I, I'm from, L, I'm from uh, California. So, we are going to the LA Museum. I think it was the... It was not the Labrea Tar Pits. I think it was the LACMA Museum. I'm not sure. Honestly, don't remember. I, I think it was the La I think it was the Labrea Tar Pits. So, yeah, actually, yeah, I do remember. It was it was the Labrea Tar Pits. Uh, so we went to the Labrea Tar Pits and uh, or we were going on the way to the Labrea Tar Pits. And on the way there, I had um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like sort of the the teachers would always assign you with uh, um, like partners so we were smaller at the time so they're like usually on a regular bus like school buses two to or one, two people would fit in it normally but since we were smaller it would like three kids would fit in one whole bus seat obviously like sometimes it'd be a little uh cramped up but it it fit we fit i mean so uh so there was three of us sitting on the bus it was all my three friends it was me uh my i'm not gonna say their names but it was me um my one of my friends and another friend and uh, so we were sitting there and uh, we were just looking out the window because we were driving on the furthest right lane and there was a left lane to the side of us. And so uh, my friend at the time, he was really into those uh, I Heart Booby bracelets. If you guys don't remember, the, if you guys don't know what those are, um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys do. They were like these things that like were popular back then, sort of like how the, at one point the California Republic sweaters were, were popular, something like this. You know those little trends that always come and go so it was the i heart boobies bracelets and i remember that he had specifically a really pink one that was really uh thick it was like really like wide and it was pink and it was white so you could see it literally from almost anywhere so uh 
So we were going on the bus and there was another bus in front of us. The other bus was going to the Libera Tar Pits uh, as well because it was uh, it was the the first bus that left and then we left uh, after it. And uh, if you guys if you guys have ever been on a field trip in your elementary years, you guys know that sort of the teachers sort of go in front of the bus or they go either like on the side where the emergency exits are for stuff like that for emergency purposes. So in this specific one, we actually en entered the bus last. So we ended up sitting in the front because the way they would sit us was if you enter first, you get, uh, you get seated all the way in the back. And then if you enter last, you get seated in the front. And then, um, uh, I don't know, kind of weird, but I guess it kind of made sense. So we entered last because we were, me and my friends were just, uh, we were just waiting in the back so that we could all sit together because I knew that if we didn't, we'd probably end up getting split because if you were sort of in the front, it, they throw you in the back and then you just keep moving forward and then like sometimes if there's not enough room in one spot, they, they fill you in. They're like, oh, you know, you got to move here. So we didn't want that. We just wanted to be the last ones so that we're sure that everybody else in front of us is already seated and we get just the seats to ourselves. So uh, because of that, that's why I believe we ended up sitting the three of us on one seat because the rest had two. So uh, the other seats in the front were for the teachers and obviously I don't think teachers wanted to sit with kids and uh, and kids didn't want to sit with teachers vice versa so uh, so we ended up sitting in the front and uh, we were looking out the window of the bus there's you know how these giant these buses have giant windows so we were looking out the window and my friend had had the I Heart boobies bracelet and we, it was actually weird because one of my my friends that was sitting on the right side of me he actually got bored that we weren't doing anything so he went and go and went to go sit in the in the seat on the right side of us which was another kid but he was sitting alone so he sat there and then um i don't know when what ended up happening but a, a friend from behind us actually ended up coming uh with us so we were we were chilling and uh, there was a a small white uh toyota or one of those like toyota cars so that it was driving on the left lane of us and uh, it was really small since obviously we can't see each other eye to eye level we were uh, above them and they were below us the only thing we were able to see was that there was two girls in that car in the passenger seat and then the one behind the passenger seat I, we don't know if there was a, a male driving it or a female driving the car but so when what ended up happening was that my friend i don't know what gave him the curiosity to put the i heart boobies bracelet on the window shield so he spread it out like since they're, since they're made out of rubber band, they're really stretchy. So he stretched it out and he put it against the window. And it was actually funny because I was against the window too. The only one that was not against the window was my friend, but he was sort of standing up. So the teacher told him to sit down and told us to get away from the window. So we got, I got away from the window. My friend did it since he was nearest to the window. He just sort of sat down and, uh, oh, he sort of sat down and, um, and put his, uh, his, um, uh, Die Hard Boobies bracelet against the wall, just like, just him holding it with one hand and the 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 teachers in front of us later seconds later started talking and we're like what like we we couldn't really understand them but we didn't know that the bus in front of us actually since my friend actually showed the i heart boobies bracelet they actually ended up flashing the bus in front of us now keep in mind we were probably like nine or eight at this time and they were probably in high school or college like they were, they were way older than us i can assure you that so we actually did not see them flash us but the reason we know this is because the teachers in front of us were talking about it they're like oh did you see did you hear that the that the um those uh girls in that car in front of us uh showed their boobs to like uh, the bus or whatever so um so technically we actually uh uh, did a favor for the bus in front of us. I don't know who actually ended up seeing the boobs of the girls or whatever But all I know is that they actually ended up flashing them and it was actually a really funny experience And I, I specifically remember us sitting there in the La Brea Tar Pits thinking that they were gonna come to the La Brea Tar Pits too I don't know why that like why we were thinking that like they were obviously college or high school students Why the fuck would they be going to the La Brea Tar Pits on a fucking school day? I believe they were ditching. I don't know. They might have had a, a free period or something like that but uh, that's that's basically when that, what ended up happening. We were we were getting so excited and nervous that they were gonna come uh, to the to the Libera Tar Pits and see us. But that didn't that did not end up happening. We actually went and uh, throughout the whole trip um, uh, through the Libera Tar Pits, we were there. We all we could think about was those girls. Like literally, we were tra like not traumatized, but it was like what the fuck? We were young. We'd never seen that before, like ever in our life. So we were tripping about it, and uh, it was kind of a fun thing. Uh, my friend was actually like, dude, I actually wanted to see them. 
I don't know. Uh, my friend was a horny 8-year-old boy, so uh, you can't blame him. I'm pretty sure any 8-year-old boy at that age would want to see those, but... Uh, but yeah, that's basically what ended up happening, guys. I actually, uh, maybe this might have, this this video might have been a little bit of clickbait, but I I did not end up seeing the boobs. Uh, the bus in front of us did. The only reason we know about it is because the the teachers were talking about it. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this story time, guys. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and share this with your friends. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you guys want to hear any other story times, if you guys actually like this series, don't forget to drop a like. I have a shit ton more to talk about when I was younger and even from my high school years and middle school years. So don't forget to drop a like, guys. Comment and subscribe. Share this with your friends if you guys found this enjoyable. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. And look at that. Tw uh, I dropped 105 kills for the fucking L. Ridiculous public players, man. But that's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios. Thank you.